friends, how's it going? It's Shani Zere here. Today's video is probably one of my most highly anticipated slash requested slash most asked about regardless of platforms. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, wherever I post something when I'm using the setup, people are always asking about my background. And I thought today I'd take you on a little bit of a background tour and tell you some of the stories behind some of the stuff that I've collected over the years. I also want to thank Gumtree for partnering with me on this video. I know a whole bunch of people are always asking where do you get all your stuff and I'm going to leave a link to their site below where you can kind of sift through the stuff that they have listed on their site and you can find your own and you can start either your own geeky collection, add to your own collection or add to your first setup. Let's get into the video. Straight off the bat, my setup has changed several times over the course of the past how many years have I been doing YouTube almost four years uh, so my setup has changed quite drastically over time and it has continually been improved and things added to it let me turn around so my setup is something that has changed over the course of time and that's been at, like stuff has been added based on interests and stuff that I get at events whether it be freebies or like stuff that I purchase or stuff that gets given to me whether it be for birthday presents or kind of as a lot of the stuff actually came from my nerd nabs once upon a time if you've been around on the channel for a while you would remember what I did with the nerd nabs I used to do some crazy unboxings once upon a time uh, but this is effectively my shelving and then as well as the little lesser scene storage space for all of my boxes and stuff so to start i do want to just say that all of the angry birds came from spa once upon a time so if you're watching this from anywhere else in the world spa is a local like grocery store kind of vibes and they had a special when uh angry birds the movie was kind of a big deal and they had all four they had the big size they had the smaller size and they had the large size and they had the red the yellow the pig the black one and then the pink one as well. The pink one isn't in my setup. Maybe the next time I move my setup around I'll add her. The Nuka Cola, it's actually a bottle cap opener or a, a bottle opener. I got that as a freebie at Rage. The Pringles is obviously gonna be there because that was my viral TikTok video. Koalas which actually come from Australia. One of my friends was in Australia a while ago and I asked him to bring me back a pack of koalas. I got them. The owls are from Typo. I know that's a big question that a lot of people ask. This Lego Pikachu probably is the most frustrating piece of Lego I've ever built in my life. Because if you wanted to separate those little mini damn pieces, it was probably the most difficult thing to get across, uh, apart. Even with like the shoehorn vibes that comes with the Lego sets, I physically could not separate them. So I basically sat trying to figure out, first of all, the instructions were really not clear. And second of all, it was like a mission to get them to separate, which was just not fun. And I will never, ever, ever rebuild that. So if it breaks, it's staying broken. So hopefully it doesn't break. My casting book from the, from the previous season for World War II that has all of my casting notes in it from when I cast for Metal State. The Furby, which is one of two, um, they're the original... 19 whatever Furbies. I have done a video about those. It's an older video So please excuse that I once upon a time was not as an efficient of a youtuber as I am now But I decided to include that in my setup something actually that a lot of people don't see on my setup Because it's kind of off to the side is all of my event passes and like event tags. This is both from going to like gaming events as well as when I used to be in the events industry so I have some crew tags from there as well but I mean there is some DGL stuff from once upon a time when it was DGC there's Icon I have a bunch of Nintendo ones there's Icon by the Sea there's Media here's Rage Exhibitor I want to say this was like 2007 2008 probably um some more Icon stuff lots of Rage um MTV Mamas 2016, uh, Once Upon a Time Gaming Forum, some Apex Interaction stuff, and yeah, there's a bunch of Call of Duty launch last year, where I decided to become a caster, or where the seed was planted in for me to become a caster. My Rage mug with all of the, this is actually quite cool, it's probably one of my favorite pieces, in that it has all of the Roxy's on it. So this was before Roxy was even called Roxy. She was still called Toilet once upon a time. And there's probably my favorite Roxy who was illustrated by Warren Lowe. 
then the Caroline Force 2 different variations. This one, of course, caused a lot of controversy. And then the one that Pippa Shabalala kind of cosplayed once upon a time. Was it last year? I think it may have been last year. I'm not actually sure. Um, but I really like it because it's Roxy through the ages. And if you're as big of a Rage fangirl as I am, because I've been going for like the last 11 years, Roxy's kind of a big deal <laughs> in my mind at least. She's like kind of mascot. And I like that I have a mug with all of the iterations of her on it. Grumpy Cat, obviously one of my biggest, um, like probably one of my favorite internet animal people. Also, just for the record, Grumpy Cat follows me on Twitter. Hashtag no big deal, hashtag kind of a big deal. I, I, I think I said this a lot um, in that I have a bunch of different favorite pieces, but this is probably one of the most favorite gimmicky pieces in that if you haven't played Plants vs. Zombies, this is a pea shooter. And this is probably, it costs 100 sun, so it's like the first line of defense that you would buy um, once you've gained enough sun or once you've planted your first sunflower and then you get the pea shooter. What's really cool about this is if you press it, it did come with a pack of three. I may have lost the other two. It's kind of like what happened when I got to shoot my Nerf gun outside. Uh, but that is my little pea shooter. That's where I keep my pens. Because I need to write stuff down. This Mafia 3 um, dog tag is actually a USB. Can say completely confidently, have never used the USB in my life and probably never will because my duck is wearing it. Also, that duck was bought from at home like six years ago. No, I lie, probably longer. I must have been about like grade eight or grade nine when I bought that duck. And it's just kind of always been something that I own. And then when I set up the setup, I was like, yes, this is gonna be it. That is gonna be it for the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you got a little bit of an insight into my setup, some of the stories, I don't know. I don't even think I've told you proper stories. I kind of just told you stuff about the stuff behind me. I don't know. Um, once again, thank you so much to Gumtree for partnering with me on this video. I have left a link to them in the description below so you guys can go find your own kind of collectibles and stuff to add to your own setups. And yeah, if you want me to do more of the stuff in the future, please let me know. I'm always adding to my collection. If there's something that you saw that you want me to tell you the story behind, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you did enjoy the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new around here. Remember that we all human differently, and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers!